Wake County schools are using 21st century tools to greatly expand the boundaries of the classroom. Students here at Salem Middle School are using these tools to enhance their learning by communicating and collaborating with people all around the world. It's a typical Thursday morning here at Salem Middle School in Apex. Like students all across the county, these sixth graders are engaged in learning. However, they are using a wide array of digital tools to enhance the learning that is taking place within their classroom walls. Students in this class are using a free tool called Skype that allows them to make phone and video calls over the internet for free. Today, they are Skyping with one of their teachers who is at Space Camp in Alabama. Hi guys, how are you? Hi guys, uh, we're actually doing our mission simulation later this morning, um, but we'll try to get through uh, some of the stuff um, that I have to show you guys and, and some of the stuff I want to talk to you about, and then hopefully at the end um, we'll have some time if you have some questions, okay? While these students learn more about Space Camp, another group of sixth graders is in the school's computer lab participating in a global collaborative project designed by a class of eighth graders in Washington, D.C to raise awareness of the genocide occurring in Darfur. On this day, students from all around the world, including those here at Salem, are taking time to write and share their views on the genocide by posting comments on the Many Voices for Darfur blog. And it's a really exciting opportunity for kids to join together digitally to raise awareness about an issue that's pretty critical and that is oftentimes overlooked. It gives the kids a sense of power because they can raise voices and raise attention and join together in collaborative work with people all over the globe. Well, I think it's actually really great how young kids are getting into doing this project, like the eighth graders in DC that are working on it and they have their blog. And just, it's better than adults because children, they're a lot more creative and they're more introduced to all the technology and when they get older, they'll be masters at it. Using the internet, it gives it kind of helps me see what's really going on in Darfur. I mean, somebody might say something in like a textbook. It only has one opinion because only one group of people write it. But on the internet, it might be like one person says it's not important, but another person says it is important. And I get to compare why. And I get to decide for myself using these things. Along with Skype and blogs, the teachers at Salem are using a wide variety of free digital tools to make learning interesting and relevant for this new generation of learners. Tools such as podcast programs, wikis, and VoiceThread, an online media album that allows group conversations to take place from anywhere in the world. I like using the VoiceThread the best because it gives you a way to communicate with the world and you don't really have to pay attention to what other people look like or where, what other people co where other people come from. You pay attention to what they think and you get to respond and interact with the people. It is an incredibly interactive way of learning and teaching for these children. And we all know that the more engaged a student is, the more learning will take place. So this is about as exciting as it gets right now. My kids are naturally going to be online anyways. It's a place that they're drawn to. It's a place that they spend a lot of their free minutes at. And when I can give them school-related content to go and interact with, I think that's cool. Because I think it makes learning a lot more interesting because you can't expect your children to enjoy learning when it's not fun or entertaining. And you get a lot more out of the learning when you're enjoying it. Teacher Bill Ferreter says to be an effective 21st century educator, it is essential for teachers to adapt to the changing nature of their students. Students who have grown up in a digitally connected world. Along with making learning fun, these digital tools also play a much larger role in these students' education. They are helping prepare them for success in the 21st century by giving them opportunities to create, collaborate, and communicate with others around the world. The people that will be the most successful in the future are people that have an ability to create and to communicate and to collaborate with technology. And when you can do those three things, I think you're probably going to be more successful in the future than you are today. Maybe in our world, uh, it was okay for you to be able to work within your own community. 
But that's going to end in the future. I mean, the, the borders between countries are being blurred by technology all the time. And so when we can explore our content and explore our curriculum with digital tools, I think that makes us uh, especially successful. This is essential. This is really what is going to bring our children to the level that is required. They are going to have to be critical thinkers, problem solvers, communicators. They're going to have to be ethical, responsible. They are going to have to be creative. They're going to have to be users of tools that most of people like you and I are just amazed at looking at. And by doing all of this, we are going to be preparing our children for the future that, that lies ahead of them. It just makes, like, it makes the world feel smaller. It's, you learn a lot more information and it just feels, because this is what you're going to be doing in real life. It's not, in real life you're not going to be in your classroom with 30 other people just reading textbooks. This is the digital world, it's now.